Hello and welcome to another sewing tutorial. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make your very own sweatpants with a drawstring elastic waistband, as well as side pockets. Stay tuned for a full tutorial ahead. For this video, I will be using this heathered gray sweatshirt fleece. I would say it's about a medium weight, the front you can see is this nice soft uh, knit and on the back it's brushed, it's super soft and cushiony, it's so comfortable. For the pattern, I just cloned a pair of sweatpants that I already owned but didn't really like the fit of. I kind of just adjusted it to fit a little better, put it on the craft paper and I cut out a front and a back piece. You're going to need to cut out two of the front and two of the back. I'm also going to be creating a waistband. The length is going to be the exact same length as the pants that you've cut and the width will determine on the size of the elastic you use. You're going to cut out two sets of pockets. The non-curved side is about 7 inches long. I made the pocket just big enough for my whole hand to fit. So you're going to cut out, like I said, two sets. One for the right leg and one for the left leg. A front and back for both. Now on the outside leg of each of the pattern pieces, about 2.5 inches down from the waist, I'm going to place the pocket on the right side of the fabric and pin it in place. Again, it will be on the right side of the fabric and you'll just do one straight stitch down. You're only going to sew down one straight stitch just over the pocket area. Once you're done, you're going to fold over the pocket, putting it on the wrong side of the fabric, and you're just going to do a top stitch again just to keep the pocket in place. You're going to do this for each of the legs, so four in total. Once you've done all four, you're going to take the two back legs together and the two front legs together. You're going to pin down and sew only down the crotch. Okay, once you're done, you're going to open it up and you're going to place front and the back pieces together and you're going to pin down the outside leg first. I realize I didn't capture it in this video, but you will also be putting the pockets pieces together, right sides together, as well as the outer leg. Once you've sewn the outer leg together, you can also see that the pockets are sewn together also. You are now going to pin the crotch seam lines and you're going to sew down the inside of the leg also, right sides together. Now it's time for the waistband. Your elastic will be smaller than the waistband that you cut. You're going to fold it in half and determine the middle part of the waistband on the outside and mark it. Then you're just going to fold over like you can see. And I'm just going to draw a straight line 
This is gonna help create the measurements for where you're gonna put the holes to put the drawstring through later. I'm using the elastic band width as a guide. I'm gonna mark it as you can see there. This area signifies that once I've actually sewn the waistband on, that area won't be counted. I'm gonna mark half of that area from the new line. And then from that line, I'm going to find the middle and on half an inch on both sides of that line, I'm gonna place a marking. That's where I'm gonna place the holes for the drawstring. As you can see the little markings there, those areas is gonna be where I'm gonna put the drawstring. But first I'm gonna place two layers of interfacing just behind that area just to make the area a little bit stronger for when I create the buttonholes. The rough side of the interfacing is what will be placed down onto the fabric. And then once you place the iron on, and just helps with a little bit of steam to really make it stick. In my case, I just used the buttonhole foot for my machine and I just created two tiny little holes. But if you want, you can make it more decorative and put some eyelets for your holes for the drawstring. But I just created two little small holes. I'm just placing a pin at the end of the hole and you're just gonna use your seam ripper to open up the little hole. The pin just helps prevent you from seam ripping right through the fabric and creating an even bigger hole. So now I'm just placing the waistband right sides together and I'm just gonna do a stitch all the way down the side there. You can either serge or sew. And once you're done, you're just gonna take your iron and I'm just gonna open up just to prevent that bulk on the waistband. Iron it down just to keep it open. I'm clipping the ends on the corner there also just to reduce the bulk. Now I'm just going to fold it over, wrong sides together, and you're going to pin all the way around the waistband, and you're, but you're just going to leave a small little hole and that will be used to place the waistband elastic after. Once you've done a straight stitch all the way down, you can kind of see where I left that hole. And you're gonna take this bodkin or a safety pin, whatever you need, and you're just going to place your elastic through that and just put it all the way through the elastic there, making sure you keep the other side of the elastic out, don't let it go through, and you're gonna feed it all the way through. Once you get the other side out, I just place the elastic over, pin it in place, and I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch around to keep the elastic together. Once you're done, you're going to allow it to go through. I kind of stretched the elastic and the waistband a few times just to even out the fabric around the elastic. As you can see, your elastic waistband is already coming together. Now it's time to do two top stitches over. You're creating a canal basically for your drawstring. The first stitch, I just use the edge of my presser foot as a guide. And as you're going through, you're gonna pull and stretch the elastic to make the fabric nice and smooth. And you wanna make sure you're doing it nice and even throughout the entire waistband. I personally find it a little bit easier to do the elastic first before placing it onto the pants. 
it is all up to you and your preference there are multiple ways that you can create the waistband and how you want to sew it on I'm going to go around one more time I'm using the previous stitch there as you can see what I'm pointing at lining up my presser foot edge to that and again I'm going to go all around the waistband pulling and doing a straight stitch all through This is how it should look when you're done. Now I'm going to attach the waistband to the waist of the pants. As you can see, your waistband will be a lot smaller. So first I'm gonna mark the front, the back, and the two sides of the waistband. I'm just using a pin on each side just to remember. And I'm gonna match up those points to the waist of the pants. So I'm just lining up the front with the front, right sides together, the two sides, I like to do this method, it just helps me make sure that the waistband is even throughout the pants. I decided to also mark in between as well, just as an extra little insurance that the waistband will go on even. Now you're just going to go around serge, but as you're serging or sewing it down, you're also going to pull the elastic and make sure you're only pulling the elastic and not the waist of the pants. This is how it looks. Next, you're going to take that same bodkin or a safety pin, whatever you have, and you're going to feed your drawstring all the way through that little hole you created. And again, all the way through the pan and out the other side. I took a lighter and lightly just burned the edges of my drawstring, just enough to melt it slightly so that it won't fall apart and unravel. You can also add a cuff or an elastic to the bottom of the pant, but I just decided I wanted to have a straight leg. So first I'm surging throughout the bottom of the pant. I'm going to fold over once and I'm just going to do some stitches on top. You can use a twin needle, but I just decided to do two stitches separately. And in between that will be the surged area behind. And that is a finished pant. This is going to be the first of many sweats that I will be making this year. We live in sweatpants and joggers and sweats. Everybody already knows. And this is the final product. But you can see the nice side pockets and the straight leg drawstring. It is so warm and cozy. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Comment below if you've enjoyed it or if you have any further questions. I use the same fabric to make my own sweater that I will be posting next on how I put it together. Thank you guys so far for all of your support. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video.